Today we're going to be doing uh, some work on my old Jeep Cherokee here. This sad old girl's a 2000 Jeep Cherokee Sport. It's a 4x4. Uh, it's got the, I think it's the Select Track, the one where it's got part time and full time four wheel drive high. Uh, it's an automatic. Uh, she's good. But our tie rods are a little bit worn out. The same with the one on the drag link here. It's got a cracked boot right there. Uh, we've got our, our new drag link right here. And uh, this is this is just a uh, OEM one, but the drag link is pretty tough on these guys, factory. And so, of course, there's a corresponding uh, tie rod for that. I decided to try this upgrade that people talk about online where you use a like a mid 90s uh, Grand Cherokee, a ZJ, you use its tie rod, which apparently fits. So we're going to try that out and see. And the reason it's better is because it's this solid piece of steel, kind of like the drag link, which is good. Whereas the factory one is it's a smaller piece of uh, just tubing, just a bent piece of flat steel into a tube. And supposedly they bend fairly easily, which makes sense. So we're going to give this a whirl and see how it looks. Okay, so I got the whole works off here now, finally. Uh, and it looks like this guy that I mushroomed the end out here like an idiot trying to pound it out. Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. It's really stuck. Really, really stuck. But... I've gone and fucked those threads up there, so I can't use this again. Oh, well, as you can see here, or let's see, my steering damper does nothing. It don't do nothing. So, we're not going to worry about that. That gets replaced. And that should come with a new one of these studs, too. Here we've got our old and new. So our drag link, like I said, is the same as the factory one. It's the same solid steel construction. Uh, here's our new tie rod for that. I'm going to reuse the adjustment sleeve for this guy, because why not? For this one, because this is my old tie rod, and it's this tube, right? Um, so these thread into it at both ends, and then you turn this whole thing to adjust them. Now with this one, because it's a solid construction, it's more like the drag link, where it's got this uh, little ball joint is attached to it. You can't replace that. You have to replace this whole piece. And here's the other end, and it has an adjustment sleeve, just like the drag link does. But I had to buy this, of course, because mine didn't have that. Now, if you're watching this and you're not planning on doing this upgrade, you can reuse this tube as long as it's straight and not bent. Um, I did this on one of my other trucks a couple of years ago, and I made a little video on how to get these unstuck with a couple of pipe wrenches and a torch if you really need it. But uh, I'll put a link in the description, maybe, or you could just go look for it, because I don't have that many videos. Uh, i got to double-check the orientation of this, make sure that's right. I could have it flipped, but uh, otherwise I'm quite happy with that. Looks like it's going to work out great. Okay, now that our tie rod and drag link are out of the way, uh, we're going to go and get this, oh, this uh, steering damper here. we got to get this out. I think I actually forgot to put penetrating oil on this one. Sometimes these guys break if they're really old. This one looks pretty good. Keep them intact if you can, because the, they don't always come with new hardware. Especially this guy. There we go. Oh man, look at that. This does nothing. This is dead weight. This isn't helping your steering situation at all. I just wanted to take a quick look here at my new steering damper versus the old one here. So I picked up a Rancho. I never bought any Rancho stuff before. Uh, from what I read online, it's pretty good. It's certainly better than what comes stock. I mean, you can see here, this housing is already much w bigger. And I mean, it doesn't always mean anything, but when it comes to a piston like this, if it's a larger diameter, it should be able to take more load, in theory. So let's hope that that's the case. Uh, you saw how bad this thing is. This junk. Whereas this new one, I probably won't even be able to pull it apart on camera. Well, no, I can't. So, whatever. It's good enough demonstration. The other thing I like about this kit is it came with one of these goofy boots. I never had one of these. But I think overall they're a good idea. They protect this area here, you know. Might have kept this seal from failing so fast. 
maybe. It also came with a new pin, like the one I got stuck in the old uh, drag link. Uh, this is pretty typical. I think they always, almost always come with these. A sticker. Of course it came with a sticker, which I think is cool. And lastly, like I said about that uh, bolt we took off for the one side, it didn't come with one. If you happen to break one, just go pick up a good one from a, a nut and bolt shop. I think a grade 10 would be good. That's that. Okay, so as you can see, we got our new tie rod on here, Grand Cherokee tie rod, along with a few other goodies, and uh, it fits perfect. Yeah, no screwing around or modifications necessary. 95 Grand Cherokee V8 tie rod. Fits right on, beefier. All I gotta do is adjust my alignment now, which I'll do by twisting this guy instead of the whole tube like the old one, and that'll work just fine. Good luck. Get this guy out of the way.